Look, Shanice, I, I ain't trying to tell you what to do. I'm not. I promise. But but I swear, I'm I'm going to lose it if we not getting an announcement about cousin, a little cousin on the way. Because where have you been with the vlog and vlogs? We got goals this year. 100K is for us. You know what I'm saying? We we waiting. We, we, we need some good content. The girls is not the girls in right now. We need you, Shanice. Come on back, please. What the upload? I'm waiting right now. To say the least, it's been a very trying two weeks. Like, well, I was out for the count. God was calling me home. Yo, her hand ain't broke. Mm -hmm. Am I this type of mom? I got some new arm candy. I know what this looks like. It would be so awesome. <laughs> it would be so cool. Still been a great. Been there. <laughs> Okay, so these are what I like. Everybody ain't Amazon. Mm -mm -mm. We are marching. Uh-oh. What that's giving? But does see a little bit. That tastes like baby food. Y'all. I'm in the mood to something new. <laughs> <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Shanice Alicia and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Monday, you guys. Today has been so, so, so very productive. I am proud of me. Your girl got up, got to the gym, got to Aldi because I needed to grab some groceries, made a Walmart pickup order that I'm about to go grab in a second. But first, I know you guys seen this outfit already. I gotta go get some pictures in it. I did not take pictures on Saturday when we went out for Rena's birthday. Moving too fast, doing too much, and just, girl, if you know, you know. So, Sim is about to grab some photos of my fit because I haven't posted on Instagram in a while and I feel like it's just appropriate. Also, I do need to be giving shout outs to Brooklyn for doing my wig and whatnot, so I am going to get that knocked out today and it will pretty much complete my to-do list oh also i did post a vlog so you guys of course have seen it by now if you haven't it will be tagged at the end of this video once i'm done with all of that i am going to come home so that i can meal prep and get us some dinner cooked for later on i have some chicken thighs out and i also have some ground chicken so i'm going to do stuffed peppers and then probably like a chicken thigh brussels sprout little potato or rice on the side and call that a night once i make it into the car i'll see you guys there made it in the car y'all i need to get rid of this fat ass box that's been sitting back here for what a week and a half now anyway i am so hungry i've been working working i had my smoothie from earlier but i have not eaten all day I'm starved Alright you guys, done with pictures, the wind tried to take me out, okay, tried to shit on my show, so hopefully we got some good ones because the wind was just kicking up a little too much for my liking and the shade just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't giving, this is a new little area that we're trying compared to where I usually go which is like 40 minutes away from the house, girl I ain't got time for all of that, we gotta find some spots on our side that's going to work for the aesthetic. But yeah, we're about to head to Walmart to do my pickup order now. Yeah, I can't believe the wind is outside winding like it is. I really hope I'm able to get a good picture up today. But we just made it to Walmart, waiting on them to bring out our order. And then we're gonna go pick up some Chipotle. Your girl did a 
pickup order for them as well. And once I make it back to the house, I forgot that I had to run to the post office and ship out some EXO orders. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to meal prep and chill for the rest of the day. I'll probably edit my TikTok video too so I can put that up either tonight or tomorrow morning because I did one at Aldi. I did one with this outfit and then I also have that Amazon unboxing that I'm going to do. Hey buddy. Hey, how's it going? Going well. What can I get for you? Uh, Springer. Springer? Yep. And can I get a vinaigrette as well? What's the first name on that book? Shanice. Chicken bowl? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Scared the bag. Phew, you guys just made it back home. Okay, Sim had a sub earlier, so he's not hungry with me. So I got me a little chicken, brown rice, pinto bean, pico, corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. Vinaigrette on the side, of course. You guys see the magic. I wish they could put the lettuce at the bottom because it really be stop and shop. Lettuce just be big as hell on top of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Did they get everything? Yeah, this is the size you order. Your girl is finally out of the house. I'm about to make this post office run. I'm gonna check my P.O. box while I'm there. But first, I'm here at Starbucks because I need a pick-me-up. I need an espresso. I need something that is going to give me three more hours of life because I'm through. I'm through. I don't know how anybody else is adjusting to daylight savings this year, but it is eating me alive. Okay, I'm grateful for us having longer days, but when I say I was tired taking those pictures, I feel like I started my morning off really early, got what I needed to get done done, and now it's just like the burn crashing burn okay. I am going down, and truthfully, who for the meal prep tonight? I don't know who gonna do it, sis. It's given. It's given. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, cause I am through. And Sim just went to the gym, so when he gets home, I know he's about to be tired. Yeah, we might just go ahead and call it a night. I'm still full off of my Chipotle, honestly. And once I get this coffee, I know I'm gonna be straight for the rest of the night. So. We'll see. Higher total 686. Would you like a receipt today? No, thank you. All right, we'll have it right out, okay? Okay, thank you. Here you are, have a good night. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Oh, don't seem like they adjusting to the new hours either. Bless their hearts in there. There's always something. I think the coffee helped, but not enough to keep me up for two hours of cooking and recovering this kitchen, okay? Let's open up our P.O. Box package. Who's it from? Capri Marie Beauty. Sis told me that she was sending this a while ago. I wonder how long it's been sitting in my P.O. Box. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I got you now. I got you now. I think this was around the top of the year, or was it Vlogman? But yes, let's see what we got. I know it's some beauty products. Ooh, come on packaging. Mm, we like that. Looks like I got lashes and lip products. Let me see. Let me see, number one. Let me read my card. 
Listen, I save all of these cards, y'all. It's so long. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so she has shared a coupon code that you guys can use to get 15% off of her products, which is Lux15. I'm going to put her website on the screen, so you guys be sure to shop with my girl. Let me show y'all everything that I got. Ooh. Can we get into the packaging? The quality. Well. Oh. Oh, yeah. Girl, what is this that this come with? It's on glue? Shut up. Hold on. Girl, now it came with, hold on. It's own personal glue. Like, okay, sis. Do what you gotta do then. I like that. That is so convenient, for real. Okay, so let me see all the styles I got. So this is Black Lux. The next one is 1988. Ooh, we like that. Okay. This one is Fame and Fortune, classy, everyday type. These are Dream Girl. Oh yeah, they definitely give it. Showstopper. Those are cute. All right, and then the last one is Rich Auntie. <laughs> How long? Cause these gonna be my signatures. Oh yeah, these are cute. This is giving appropriate, like, you know what I'm saying? You pulling up to the function. You ain't really trying to look too grown. You trying to fit in with the youngins. Okay, Rich Auntie, I see. I see. Okay, so for lippies, I got Billy, Diana, Eartha, Michelle. Let's see. Della. And who's this? Hallie. Yes. When I say we love the color range, yes, come on range, come on to the range. Y'all see it? So these look like they're about to be very good nude and flesh tone colors. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we need, we need most definitely consistency for the win has like a little bit of a shimmer to it which we need oh no she's giving soft matte Ooh. yes you guys so make sure y'all use the website and the code on screen shout out to you capri marie for sending me over your products your girl loves a good lash okay i am so 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 grateful for it um listen I think that's it for today. I am tired. I'm not meal prepping. Alright. So, um, yeah, we're gonna resume the productivity tomorrow because I am out for the count. I am out for the count. If anything else, I'll be back on tonight. But if not, I'll meet you guys in the AM. Good night, y'all. Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. Please disregard how I sound. My allergies are beating my ass, like my throat is so dry. Girl, and I started feeling this last night, but I thought maybe I'm just tired and I need to go to bed. So I took my antihistamine and I also put my air purifier on. I drank me some tea, laid down, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> I don't feel sick. I just feel like my throat about to fall out. Nonetheless, though, we're about to take Deuce to a vet appointment. I think we're on time. I think it's far. It's where we adopted him from because they have like the veterinary clinic attached to it. And yeah, we don't take him often. So hell, when we do, we're going to make that drive. But girl, let me go get in the car because Sim is out there and it's cold today. It is so cold. Y'all, I had to bring me an orange because see, Sim be good with our breakfast in the morning, but me, girl, I be having to chew up on something. I didn't have my tea because I'm running late. I didn't go to the gym this morning because I just could not with how I'm feeling. So 
I gotta do something for me right now. And this orange is about to give me life. This Maxi. Maxi. Good boy. What up, though? Are there orange peelers? Um, Cause this is crazy. I'm certain there is. This orange be so good though. Would you like a piece? Uh, y'all take a piece. Sit back. It's so funny because you really understand English real good. So, we were late for our appointment. We ended up going to Starbeezy's and now we're outside with Deuce. He has a friend, so we're at the dog park. I hope you guys can hear me. And we rescheduled for like maybe an hour and 15 minutes from now, so we're just hanging out. Deuce is so small compared to him. Get out of his ear before you get beat up. Deuce. Deuce. He's so bougie. Deuce. See how he's laying down? Go follow suit. Do you want your pup cup? Such a bougie child. You don't want to play fetch. But here you are eating a pup cup. A bougie ass. Am I this type of mom? Hey you guys, happy Thursday. Listen, not your girl was on the sick and shutting list for a day and a half. Not I done died and came back to life. Like, girl, I was out for the count. God was calling me home, okay? It was a thin line between I was gonna stay here and I was gonna be with my folk, cause, huh? Hmm? <laughs> what happened? Like, the sight of light was literally taking me out. I had a sinus headache, so wild, like, so heavy, like, girl, ridiculous, legit. After we got home from Deuce's vet appointment, which, Y'all notice y'all ain't getting no footage from the inside of the building, right? Honey, I don't have nothing to say. I have no words. He had to get blood drawn and he got a shot or did he get two shots? I think he only got one shot. And when I say my mans wouldn't even cooperate to get on the scale <laughs> so they could tell us how much this boy weighed. Them cheering, they gonna embarrass you every single time. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm not really sure. Not really sure what happened. But anyway, once we got back here, I went down. I thought it was like, oh, let me just sleep this off. Let me take me a nap. I just need to get myself back together. No, girl, out for the count. Like, whoo, I'm not really sure. <laughs> not at all, not at all, but I'm feeling a lot better. I know you guys can probably hear some of the congestion, but hell we move i got stuff to do and i just can't be down and out not for that long like girl no so today i have to make a return to crate and barrel and then i also need to make a return to home goods i was going through the comments and you guys were saying to take the hem out of those curtains and let them fall and then just sew up whatever it is i wish i would have thought about that or i would have had y'all's input before I took them back because now I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the exact ones. We're trying out some other ones right now and I hate them. I hate the tops of them. Girl, if I could just get somebody to hand make me my own curtains, which I'm sure I can. I just need to find a person and make time to get them done. But huh, I wish it could all be that simple. But thank you guys so much for those recommendations. Definitely appreciate them and maybe one day I won't move so fast to go take the shit back. Okay, so yeah um, After I do those two returns, I don't really have anything else on my agenda I'm gonna come back home and try to get myself something to eat cuz I ain't ate in a day either I'm feeling super thin hence this crop top girl like I'm feeling low. Okay, the gym ain't never did me like this not eating did. Okay, but um, it's not funny. It's really not funny cuz this 
this is serious. I play all day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get me something to eat. Sim ended up meal prepping, which, who thank God for him. He didn't do the stuffed peppers that I was gonna make because that's not his expertise. He don't really fancy doing stuff like that. So I may come home and prep up those peppers and call it a day. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna try to keep it light so that I can get back in bed and recover because this is the hell, I'm not really sure what went on these past few days. Like, I feel like I was kind of feeling something on Tuesday, cause I told y'all like, don't mind my voice. My throat was killing me, but yeah, I didn't know. I ain't know, I ain't know God was gonna be like, come here my child. So yeah, I am about to uh, put my shoes on and get out the door. I do want to get that box that's in my back seat donated to a shelter or a local thrift shop. I kept saying that I wanted to take it to the Goodwill, but in all actuality, I'm not a Goodwill fan right now. So um, yeah, if you know, you know. So I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do with it because it's little decor stuff and just some random things. So I need to just find the best place to donate them to. So I'm probably gonna move that box from my back seat to the trunk. Since I'm going to be driving around, I just, girl, folks breaking in folks' cars for no reasons out here. But, um, yeah, once I get myself together and I get in the car, I'll pick you guys back up. And let me just say this because nobody, nobody whatsoever, Shanice. This is why I do not like to shop online for home decor items because these places do not be given the option for free returns. Like if I wanted to send this utensil holder back, they were gonna charge me $10 to send it FedEx. Or the only other option was bringing it to the store. Now Crate and Barrel ain't no hopping a skip from a house. It's here in Atlanta, cool, but I should be able to return this without an issue. That's why I get my ass up and I go to the stores anytime I want to shop because that online shit, it don't be conducive when you don't like it once it makes it here in person. I'm just saying. Everybody ain't Amazon, okay? <sighs> but uh, your girl is finally getting out of this house. I've been captive for two days. All right, you guys. I just pulled up to Crate and Barrel. It took me like 40 minutes to get here, but I'm not complaining. I enjoyed my little vibe as I was driving so right now I'm just pulling up my return information so that once I get inside I can already have it ready to show to them y'all see that FedEx is charging ten dollars and I can bring it back to the store for free ridiculous like girl okay so I got my email let me take a screenshot of it and also let me save it to my phone because sometimes my service be getting a little janky inside the store. And girl, don't nobody have time to be embarrassed up here trying to fumble. Chew up on a little gum. I just do not have an appetite and this is wild to me. Return slip. Okay. Okay. Do you want an email receipt? Um, you can do a printed one, that's fine. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Return went well, and since I'm in the area, I might as well browse around. Um, it was quick and easy. It's very quiet in here today. I'm not sure if that's a usual or what, but I am gonna look for a fruit bowl, because that's what I wanna add to the counter. Like, this would almost be ideal, but I want it to be solid. I don't think I want it to be like a wired type of vibe. Whew, okay. That was quick. I didn't really see anything that I would want for a long time outside of that one basket, but I don't want it to be wired. I kind of want a solid to fit the vibe in where I'm putting it. So yeah, that is done. And I'm about to go to Home Goods and I'm gonna call Shayna cause I'll go to the one that's close to her. She was gonna meet me here, but that was so in and out. I'm not even going to bother her to drive all the way here when I can just drive closer to her. Okay, we made it to Home Goods and the wind is winding. I don't need one. Yeah, you do. I don't. Watch. By the time you come out here, y'all. Mama, mama. Shayna, look at my knees. Mama, mama, mama. <laughs> look at my earring in. 
Was that SpongeBob? I don't know. Mama, I can't. Mama, mama, mama. I can't remember. I think it was. So we are out of Home Goods. It was a fail. Complete bust. It was in there. What you trying to go do, Shayna? Mm -hmm. Me no speak drink English. <laughs> She threw it off, y'all. She tried to go eat. No, I thought we were going to Target or something. I, I told don't that know. I'm just here for the vibe. I told that girl I ain't had no appetite. I've been down bad. I said we don't have to eat. We can go to Corsi to eat. Where'd she get that cute bag from? She in. Oh, yeah. We got to say she in. Oh, what y'all? She in. She in. I'm going to just pronounce that shit how it's spelled. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get a little Starbucks. <laughs> I was just you was about to the elevator. I was too ready. Yeah, we just pulled up to Target. She ain't making me be fit, babe. She's gonna hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. I am feeble, bitch. I ain't ate in two days. <laughs> uh oh. Here. What does this mean? Yeah, make it wet. Thank you. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it, but Target. Target. Oh my God. Is it giving ghetto? What happened is <laughs> everybody who was shopping at Walmart started coming to Target. And this is why the store looked like this. I'm telling y'all, I'm not kidding. She said, take y'all ass back to Walmart. Okay, you guys, so these are the fruit bowls that I've seen from Target. They have one size, which is 25, and then the large size is 30. The only problem that I have is that it's not elevated, so this will literally just be sitting on the counter. And I don't know. I kind of want it to be, like, up a level, but it's super cute. Um, I'm so excited. Which one is that one? Hemp tea tree. All of them really slap. Mm -hmm. I'd be wanting eucalyptus, but I know my skin would be like that. Y'all, this little Target with the purse inventory. Okay, they might be on. That's cute right there. That black one. Target run and done, you guys. <laughs> Where are we going? I think to the... Oh, shit. Let's do two. Should we use us wear? Uh, it's just VR look. See, this that weather. Yeah. This weather the problem right here because see, I got on this heavy ass whew, cardigan just to come out of it. Mm, you cute. Ooh, I'm so cold. You so. What shame? What happened? I'm sweaty. Mm. Clammy. You don't feel that? Whew. <laughs> Show her last leg. Need to refill them. All right. Look how he's sitting on these folks. Internet. I'll be loud. So maybe it's 2R and 2. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, yeah, because I see 2R right there. But what the, the hell is the difference? difference? <laughs> you that lazy? Just get out and walk, walk around. around. Shit. People just get on my nerves. Because that makes no sense. I'm trying to figure it out. That Target experience? That's pretty good. Kind of zero out of ten stars right now. Wasn't really feeling it. Yeah. <sighs> was a little... Uh, underwhelming. Yeah. Let me smell that one. You ever had that one? I never tried this one. What's this one? This one is hemp and almond. You gotta do the YouTube hand. Oh yeah, okay. And they came in. <laughs> look, look, look. Damn. Cause what this hand for? <laughs> look, look, yeah. Uh-huh. The hemp and almond. Almond. You can open this. Let's see. There's another green one, isn't there? Yeah, yeah I think tea tree oil. Yeah, you see that be throwing me cause I know that tea tree oil. That shit gonna have your skin. Burning, peeling up. No, I don't have no scent. It smells like the baby one. It's just mild. Hmm. It smells good though. Mm -hmm. The almond makes it like soft. Mm -hmm. Where do you see a flavor? 
Oh, yep, yeah, almond. Black folks talking about flavor. <laughs> Give me this. <laughs> but for real, though, the flavor <laughs> stink. This is scent. <laughs> No, really, the only reason I'm saying that is because they did me so dirty one night. Where? Because um, I was at a kickback and they was like talking about the Kool-Aid. Uh-huh. I'm over there talking about some um colors instead of flavors. Uh-oh, stink. <laughs> I'm screaming. It would be so awesome. <laughs> it would be so cool. Oh, the ghetto. The ghetto. Phew, you guys, your girl is finally back home. When I say Atlanta traffic made me want to pull everybody over and ask, hey, where'd you get your license from? Because what you're doing right now is real questionable. I know you didn't get approved to do that when you signed up for this. Like driving one-on-one, -on -one, how we get here. Anyway, I'm about to set up this serving bowl. It's not a fruit bowl. I know I keep calling them that, but that's what I'm gonna be using it as. I'm gonna see how it looks over there, show you guys, and just kind of get a feel for it because y'all know if it need to go back, I'm taking it the fuck back, okay? The current fruit situation, just ghetto. Okay, let's see, oof, the ghetto. <laughs> See? <laughs> Do it just look out of place? <sighs> like, girl, I know everything that I'm putting in here has skin on it, so it's not bad without rinsing it out first, but can y'all visualize? Can y'all visualize it? Does it look dumb? I'm feeling like it's looking a little silly. Looking from like an entire perspective, does it look silly? I don't know. I'm not sure. Taking it up a level with that guy under there. What do y'all think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know. It kind of just, it's not... I don't know. I don't know how I feel. That does something. Taking it up a level definitely does something to it. It looks a little bit better, but now it just feels like it's missing something. But it's super cute. It's definitely cute to fit the vibe. I don't know. Hey, you little bag of you. Get in here. Who you out there barking at? Hey you guys, happy Friday. So, what you guys don't know is that it's been two weeks since the last few clips that y'all saw. And when I say almost unbelievable, I am just so grateful to God to be here. So much has transpired and I want to catch you guys up completely before I just hop back into filming it feels weird it's been a while especially for me not getting any content but when i say working filming picking up this camera has been the furthest thing from my mind i did feel guilty but at the same token it's just like i have so much more going on i just can't even mentally bring myself into this space so earlier on in today's video you guys saw we took deuce to the vet and then i ended up coming down with a cold out of nowhere your girl was out of commission for a day and a half before i picked the camera back up and took you guys to crate and barrel and then we also met up with shayna that day once i got home i wasn't feeling my best again so i kind of was down for another few days just to really rest and recover and then I decided to get myself back up and get out of the house. So as I was traveling back home that day I was hit by an 18-wheeler and carried about 50 feet before my tire popped off and my axle snapped and believe it or not that actually saved my life. When I say God covered me okay and he sent an angel to 
pull me through that day and I could not be more grateful to be able to just sit here and tell you guys the story because it has literally been the most traumatic thing I have experienced to date. So, um, to say the least, it's been a very trying two weeks. I'm not 100%. Some days I feel decent and other days I feel like I'm declining and just going backwards. But I am just so, so, so grateful. I can't say it enough to be alive, okay? And be able to just tell you guys this. Um, I don't want to get too grave into details because mentally, physically, legally, it's just a lot, okay? If you know, then you know a lot of you guys are my age or a lot older. So you've been there, done that in life. You're pretty experienced. But um, I was so glad to be saved by an off-duty EMT who was traveling two cars behind me. She stopped, got off on the shoulder, came across traffic. She risked her life to come and save me get me out of the car and sit and wait with me until Sim and then also all of the emergency responders showed up to the scene. I cannot thank her enough for just being there, being a good Samaritan and taking the time out to care about somebody else who couldn't fend for themselves in that moment. So much <laughs> has happened, you guys. It's just so 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 crazy and um i can't thank sim enough for being an amazing partner through it all all of my family and friends who have driven miles and miles to be here and just sit with me um bring me food offer to take me places because if you guys can imagine my car is total my girl served nine years in the game she got me where i needed to go and losing that car is just the small price that i'm paying for having my life today that's the way that i'm looking at it it can be um just mentally foggy some days like just ugh, why how come but then in retrospect you have to look at it on the other side because there's no time to pity your situation you got to be grateful that you were able to come out of it so um yeah i hope that everything is flowing <laughs> i haven't talked to the camera in so long like the other day we went car shopping and right before we left sim was like i think you should vlog this experience it'll be good to look back on it and then of course share it with the gang if you feel compelled to but bring the camera and we actually went to pick up my other camera because you guys know i did take it to get repaired that day so he was like you got options start filming and um i'll include that footage after i get done chatting with you guys right now so that y'all can see and just come along with us i was in really good spirits that day and you know it was exciting to kind of get back into the groove of things and go car shopping because who doesn't enjoy new things right but um yeah you guys i am moving through the motions finally yesterday i felt confident enough to get a rental car so today i'm actually gonna go get my nails done because girl hmm, between these nails these eyebrows and everything else i need a self-care day but i'm gonna take it slow i'm gonna take it easy i'm not gonna do too much because um it's early now and i really want to get there get what i need to get done done and get back into the house i did drive yesterday and i wasn't like jumpy or anything i felt pretty decent i was on back roads though which i'm feeling maybe more of my speed these days and just let that be what it is but um yeah uh i think that's just pretty much it before i hop in the car and then i let you guys see what we did a few days ago all of that footage um in terms of just consistency moving forward y'all this was unplanned unexpected like i said i don't want to go into grave detail but i am going to try and get back into the swing of things and pacing myself as i start back working i was 
filming a reset before the accident and I do want to at least pick up where I left off and film some more for it so I can complete the video and put it out. We've had family and friends in and out. I've had so much traffic in here. Everything that I reset before the wreck <laughs> needs to be reset again. And um, Sim was just so gracious this entire time, taking care of me, making sure I was good and whatnot. So I wanna at least try to meet him halfway again and just getting some stuff done around the house just to help him out because it's a lot taking care of somebody and then taking care of the home and then having to get up and go to work. I understand. You know, I feel him. And while I'm making strides in the right direction, I don't want to do too much. So hopefully I'm able to get some content done and start back working again. And um, you guys have been reaching out to me. Y'all been leaving comments. Y'all been in the DMs. I haven't posted anything. I did a TikTok trend from like before and after with me and Sim. And I also been posting Ashley's brunch flyer on my Instagram. And you guys have been like, sis, where the vlogs at? They coming? And I'm like, damn, it has been two weeks. But time has just been flying. It doesn't even feel long enough to say I've been gone for that long. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to really sit down and chat with you guys, let y'all know what was going on before we just hop into content, like ain't nothing happened. You guys at least deserve to know. And um, yeah, any prayers and stuff like that that y'all guys send them on my way. I will try to take you guys along for um appointments maybe just depends it depends and um more car shopping because i didn't make a decision um the other day when we went i really want to touch all areas luxury every day i want to see it all so i can make a good sound decision and really configure because you know my baby will pay it off, okay? She was sitting in that garage rent free, okay? Her maintenance was every single month she was getting some done. She was getting that luxury treatment for free. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's gonna be a change going from no car note to a car note. So yeah, I haven't made a full decision yet. So I will bring you guys along for more days like that and um as much as we could get to finish out today's vlog i'm gonna try and sit to edit you know if i feel good enough to be up in the lab and um sitting down for hours to edit i'll do so whatever case may be when you guys see this video y'all will see the video okay hopefully it can be sunday or a monday upload if not y'all might get it on wednesday hell a friday i'm not really sure yet but let me roll the clips from the other day. I'm gonna put on a flannel because I think it's kind of chilly and it's gonna get hotter later on. And I'll see you guys once I make it to the nail salon. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So we are actually sitting outside of Best Buy before we go car shopping. I need to come pick up my camera. I have an appointment for 120, but it's currently 11.50. Hopefully they allow me to do it because I'm not really sure why I had to make an appointment to pick up, but we will see. We want to get this done on this side of town before we head where we're going because we're also hungry. Simeon had a dentist appointment earlier, so how you feel? I feel great. Don't lie, you got to lie. You got to lie to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we haven't ate all morning, so to speak. So um, once we get in here, hopefully I'm able to get my camera because I really do like filming on that one compared to this one, especially while I'm out. And we'll bring you guys along for everything that we do today. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's only right that I start back working, huh? Feels weird. I bet it Working on vacation, so actually, stuff. Paperwork back here says explanation of repair. Um, it just replaced the lens assembly, and they even offered a new body cleaning. 
Um, set the focus, calibrated and aligned. Um, but yeah, they gave you the whole nine yards. Okay. Professional cleaning is usually great. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So I just sign right here. Sign on the top, and then I sign next to it. That's his shit. Say in my own. I told him only serial killers be whistling. Stop doing that, man. Past life. Stop saying that. <laughs> So you guys, I was able to pick up my camera. Can't film on it because I didn't think two and two through. And um, yeah, I don't have the battery that goes in it. Thank you. I don't know what to eat. We've had so many different foods in the past week. Like people have literally been sponsoring dinner for us. So if you name it, we've had it. Longhorn was the best though we've had in the past week, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, long more this, man. Oh, so good. Thank you for choosing that, I'll be right with you. Zensational. The salad. Salad? Mm -hmm. That's pissing me off. Citrus vinaigrette. Extra salad. Spill vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> they smelled it wrong. No, I smelled it. It's it's dumb as hell. How yeah, yeah, that's why I had to ask. <laughs> what you getting? I don't know. I was thinking of grilled chicken sandwich, but probably finna change it. I think I want a little. The big Zach snacks is so typical for me, but I was feeling big over here wanting a Zach's right. signature. <laughs> Right, you started yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it tonight. Go to work. But I mean, if I get the um, if I get the Zaxby signature sandwich meal, that's not bad, is it? But here's the catch: Can I get that? Can I get that titty tossed? And some hot honey mustard. I can see. <laughs> if I can't get that titty tossed. I'ma just do a big ass snack. Hello. Oh shit. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for your patience. What can I get for you? Um, question. Mm -hmm. For the signature sandwich, mm -hmm. is it possible to get the filet tossed? And then put on the sandwich. That's a good question. I'm gonna find out for you. Okay. That's a very good question, because I've never had that question asked. Oh, so let me see if they will let me modify it. Only me, only Biggie. Hmm. <laughs> she over here like you might be on the song. Because how our system works, <laughs> if it's anything right there, mm -hmm. if it's in blue, that means you can modify. Because sometimes they don't let us modify a lot of stuff. Okay. So if they hmm. can't, that's what you still want. No, if they can't, no. I'm gonna do the big exact snack. Okay. But I can do an ask me, and I have to go in and tell them. Okay. But if you, we, we make sure you. Okay. I'm satisfied before you leave. Okay. So what sauce would you like your toast in? Let me do that um, sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy sauce. Mm-hmm. Hey, Nana. Okay, now. We on to something. I have a signature filet that's going to come back. They want it toast and sweet and spicy. They want it toasted. I'm fin too. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's your drink, love? Ooh, let me do a Sprite with light ice. Sprite light ice? If there's a will, there's a way. I Amen. promise you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. you. You also can switch it from a bun to a toast, too, though. Can I do a toast? Mm hmm. You can get it on the Texas toast inside the bun. Yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Filling all my big up, needs. I'm um, a big Zach snack. Okay, we got a drink. Um, do a lemonade. You said lemonade? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you regular lemonade because I have flavors. Regular lemonade is fine. What else for you? Um, that's all. 
Oh, okay, our signature filet meal. You want it on Texas toast. You want it dipped in sweet and spicy. A big zat snack with a lemonade and your Sprite with like ice. Anything else? A ranch. A ranch. A ranch dressing? Mm-hmm. Your total is $18.37. Y'all have a good day, okay? Right, Thank you. It. Thank you. No, you're more than welcome. Let's tell you, guys, it'd be like Chick-fil-A. Why she had to come outside with the tablet though? They probably ain't working with her. It's not really tossed this lightly battered, but it'll do. Mm. Oh, they put two extra ranches in there. I like the morning crew. And that look at that look look at that seasoning. <laughs> hmm. Oof. Let me set you up, babe. That setup go crazy though, every time. I mean, it's cool, but we could have dolled her up some more. Did I need to ask for some lettuce? Cause it's just giving flavored chicken and, and Texas toast. But we gonna see, we gonna see it might bus. Got a little pickle on there. Hey, how's it going everybody? We're here at Infinity in Fairburn, Georgia. <sighs> Come get you a car. <laughs> 50, 60, what were we looking at over here? Oh, what these is, 100? These like 280, I think. They so big in the back. Damn, what is that? 2x8. So these are the 55s? Okay, so these are what I like. I could really do a 22. I don't think you guys can see for real, but y'all see those red seats? Oh, she pretty. Hot. Did when I just got in this car. Okay. Yeah, I like those though. Got a little taste on you, man. Oh me? Mm-hmm. Just a little. Boy gone. I knew you like them though. I'm stressed. Yeah, I, like them, I ain't gonna lie. I really honestly feel like our last stop though. I'm gonna tell you not gonna be car Because they're gonna have like a thousand more things to look at. Yeah. I really like that. Um. XQ50? QX50? Mm -hmm. QX55. Yeah, cause you say you, you like that more than the 50. Yeah, it's small, it's compact, it looks sporty, and that's what I'm going for. I would prefer black with the peanut butter inside, but honestly and truthfully, you guys, I can really do black on black, black with a little bit of red interior. Yeah, that black red went dumb. It's going dumb. Not gonna count. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. I really, really, really enjoyed that. That was so cute. But uh, this was the first stop that I wanted to make. And now we're about to go to Hyundai. Mm -hmm. That's the other one you say you want to go to. Yes. You look like a dad. Yeah, man. In due time. Screen the same on the inside? Huh? Screen the same on the inside. All of them? Yeah. Oh, well. This gives, I got a car seat. <laughs> See, this is cute. What do you think? I like this. It's a little hot day. Ain't too bad. Good on gas. Price ain't bad. Better than the Infinity? For real? If you ask me. It is cute. Back. If you know anything about me parking in Atlanta. <laughs> People parking next to you. Yeah, y'all, yeah, there's nobody in the car, by the way. Yep, it's not a soul in there. We're all out here. Wow. I know I said I'd meet you guys in the car, but I had to pacify someone with a treat. This is about to be different. He's like, girl, you've been in the house with me for how long? Where you finna go? Deuce. Bye. Bye, poodle butt. <laughs> girl.
before I go. Oh my God. Girl, these nails. <laughs> Look at them. Girl. My blood pressure has been really high since the accident. So I've been doing um, ginger, turmeric, elderberry, and black pepper shots. It's something that I picked up at Target. Sim took me to Target one day for a little, you know, therapy. <laughs> and then I've also been doing this green juice. And I'm gonna make some hibiscus tea when I get back. And my mom was also telling me that beet juice is good to naturally stabilize your blood pressure and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do some of that too. I'll take these on the way with me. We're gonna get out of the house. Oh, make sure. Got everything up in my purse. Ooh, this juice nasty. Damn, while well, I'm trying to be content creative, put the juice back in the fridge. Silly. Come on, y'all. This my rental, y'all. Ain't she cute? I wanted to actually go to Toyota next week on our next day of car shopping to look at some Camrys and what are the odds of me getting it as a rental? So, I really like it. I really like it. I'm not really sure what I'm really feeling the most because I'm in between an SUV or like a sedan. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel for everything, really hone in on what I like and what I'm going to make a final decision on. Luckily, okay, this cuts the dealership time at Toyota down in half because there's a SUV that I wanna go look at there too, but. I'm not gonna ramble. I'll see you guys when I make it to the nail salon. For real this time. <laughs> For real. Whew. All right, you guys. I just pulled up to the nail salon. About to go in because I am here right on time. The drive wasn't too bad. No traffic out. It's still early, so hopefully I can get out of here and back to my side of town in no time. But I really want to hop on here to say this. Like, you guys, my dad has been driving 18-wheelers for almost 20 years this is year 19 and I believe next year makes 20 when I say I have never been afraid of trucks a day in my life and I always like to joke and say I was trained by a professional driver because that's what he does for a living I've literally rode in a truck with him I know all the safety measures like if you can't see their mirrors they can't see you be a defensive driver not only for yourself but for everybody else on the road all of that so just a simple fact like now I'm a little eh, 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 eh. and in Atlanta these truck drivers just be everywhere they're not supposed to be who is giving out CDLs I need to talk to the owner here cuz what let me go Whew, it got warm out here real quick but your girl just got done at the nail salon child i got my newborn baby nails on okay with a little pink french tip nothing to see here let's keep it moving and i also did the same pink on my toes y'all know how i do i'll cut them all down so they can grow out evenly and we could be back to the gripless shortly so now your girl is about to go over here to Salada. I want to grab me a salad and I'm going to make my way back home. Not a whole lot going on. I just got off the phone um, doing some business things and I wanted to pop in and let y'all know how it was going. I had to tell Maya, ain't no more vacations, okay? Girl, do not leave me ever again because look at my nails. Look at my nails. Of course, the fact that I also got into an accident, but... No, ma'am. Thank you. You have a good one. Y'all, I've been wanting to try this, so I'm going to grab some. 
for when I finally get my brows done. All my years of wearing makeup, I've never tried Tarte Shape Tape, so this is the Deep Sand. And I know it's different on my hand, but I was trying my color that I wear in NARS compared to it. So it's the closest. Dr. Teal's is buy one, get one 40 off. So I'm gonna grab one of these. And I'm trying to see what else, because I do need something to soak in. So I'm probably just gonna grab some Epsom salt and call it a day. So I'm gonna get this one too. Okay, Real Techniques with the brow section. Probably get these disposable spoolies for my brow wax and this honestly because I can always use a new brow brush mm -hmm. okay do I have any um points on there okay Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good one. Whew. All right, you guys. So, impromptu run to Alta is here, right across the street from where I get my nails done. So, I wanted to pop in there because I will have to be doing some like sit down videos soon. Probably gonna try to film a chit chat story time whatever the case may be so I wanted to get some new brow products because I ran out and I really wanted to try that Rihanna um, lipstick but anyway your girl's about to get back on the road to get home I know what this looks like I had to come use the bathroom and I also need to pick up a charger because my phone died and just to be safe I want to have it on. This seems like the cheapest I'm going to get. So I'm going to grab this one. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Okay. Got the charger. I just want to be safe because Sim is already like, let me know when you make it here. Let me know when you leave. Let me know when you do this. Rightfully so. So I just want to make sure that my phone is on in the event that I need it for anything. I'm ready to sit it on down while I am enjoying my freedom again, just the luxury of being able to get up and get things done. I don't want to overdo it because girl, I feel like I can lay down in a tub full of that Epsom salt right now. All right, so that is plugged in. Your girl is about to mosey on back to the house. Y'all, I put Deuce outside as soon as I got home and he is not happy. I'm about to bring him inside, but just made it to the house. I have so many packages at the door. One thing I have been doing is sitting my ass up on this couch and up in that bed, ordering things like <laughs> down comforters, um, throw blankets. I bought two faux plants and some other little things from Amazon. I think it's some real techniques brushes that came today. So I'm about to go grab those from the door and then I am going to derobe and lay my butt down. I am tired. That was a lot for today. <laughs> Wash my hands, child. Whew. Okay. Don't you even think about it. I think these are my brushes. I just got off the phone with Sim. Am I showing y'all my address? No. And he was telling me to just leave it outside and he would get it, but this is so like lightweight. It almost feels like 
nothing. What plant is this? Girl, this is so skimp. This comforter heavier than the plant. Does anyone have a down comforter? This is supposed to be medium weight. And this feels really like, hey, don't start that. I should get paid for butt scratches. I should have got the heavyweight if this was gonna be the case. But that gives me something to show you guys tomorrow morning. I'll unbox all of this stuff with y'all. What is this? Oh, PR from Kiss. Oh. All right, you guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm about to go lay it down. If at all anything, I'll pop back on later once Sim makes it home, but he's been going to the gym after work, so it's probably going to be late. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey you guys, happy Sunday. So I am up and out of the house. Tyler and I are actually about to go shoot some content. This was something planned pre-accident. So of course I want to keep my word and at least get it done. Like I said, I'm trying to pace myself back into work. And if it feels good, if I feel all right, I'm going to do it. So it's early and we're going to try to knock this out before it gets too late, before any traffic is out. I had Sim help me pack the car earlier. So I have extra shoes and the two outfits that I will change into. I already have one on. So just to see how it goes, we might do all, might not just depends um i do have to put on my lashes but i'll do that once i get into the car with tyler it feels so good to have my makeup on i do need my brows done so i had to really perform some surgery up there but hell it is what it is i'm feeling inspired motivated and um i was actually on instagram this morning before i started getting ready trying to respond to a lot of you guys who have been just reaching out and checking on me so that made me feel even better about trying to get back to work and, you know, putting up content and stuff like that for you guys. So, slow and steady wins the race, okay? And, um, yeah, your girl's about to get out. And once I make it into the car with Tyler, I will pick you guys up then. All right, you guys. So, we made it. I'm having a lash malfunction. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like I'm gonna find the glue as soon as I make it back into my rental because it's not in my purse. It's not in this bag that I so strategically packed earlier. So I'm not really sure, but I was able to get some leftover tack from the last time I wore these. So hopefully it doesn't look bad in the pictures cause we need the lashes. Anyway, say hey, Dubby. Blah, 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 ride or die game. We in here. Period. We are out here. I'll give you guys BTS and all of that, but I'm about to sit down and put on my shoes because I ain't together yet. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I think I would like white because Easter's around the corner. And then if you would like to do two looks, I think... I is that green not... Is it that green is is making it pop. It's making this little, like, the lime green kind of pop out a little bit. Do you feel like it's too green, though? Or you feel like it's fine? Um, let's see. Because I'm really not crazy about the brown. I feel like brown kind of settles it. Down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the lime green, that's some, it's just something I would personally do. But everybody may not be that girl. So I think white is safe. If I wear the white, cause I was thinking about wearing the white with that orange dress, well yellow dress. <gasps> okay, well go. the with buckle and that kind of go. I just didn't know if you wanted to walk all the way over there, but 
Here we go. <laughs> we are marching. So, <laughs> so when we get to the end of this thing, you can go down the steps and you'll be right there. <laughs> Here I come. It's okay. <laughs> I just want y'all to know this is what influencers really look like, okay? <laughs> Struggling. Okay. All right, you guys, we're on to look number two. Set y'all down. You'll never find. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. No, I'll balance out. Yeah, it does balance out because they didn't appreciate us. But we see. got seven looks just to get that one. Yes. Comment. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone. All I ever asked was you to show me some love kisses and hugs. No, I never had an issue go to the club with your boys, baby. I never wanted you to stay too long. Just wanted you to show me up. So won't you say my name? And we came out here, took some pictures, and now we are about to get us some boba. And Tyler's gonna get her some food because Biggie ate breakfast this morning and I don't need it again. <laughs> I just don't need to do it. So we're at Chattahoochee Food Works. I know it's loud in here, so I'm saying it's a little noise. Yeah, it's giving copyright, so. Phew, you guys, your girl is home. Of course, I'm derobed and I had to sit down, take me a breath because I am exhausted, okay? Today was very, very productive. Super proud of us for sticking it out, but it does feel like we were out there forever. Nonetheless, we were able to get some great shots, great content, and I'm hoping that more days will be like that to come, especially to keep me active over on Instagram. I've been doing good on YouTube and TikTok talk this year but Instagram has just been a very trying part any home do not mind that vanity back there I know it looks a mess it looks like the two weeks that I have not touched it on top of the fact that I sat and did my makeup there this morning I have intentions to try and tidy up this office because the floor looks crazy too anywho your girl is about to try and run to Lidl or Aldi I want to grab some eggs water salmon and maybe something else for me to prep later on in the week because these last two weeks fortunately but unfortunately we had all of our parents and miss burgess our friends and stuff like that coming together bringing food by sponsoring dinners for the night so we've had everything from longhorn to chipotle subs wings <laughs> Girl, did we have cheddars? It was something else. We've just been eating out, getting stuff ordered to the house because, yeah, on top of Sim having to take care of myself and Deuce, cleaning, cooking, and doing all of that, that just would have been a lot. So they were so gracious to send us money or drop stuff off here at the house. And yeah, it's time to really get back on track because I can't go to the gym right now and i don't want to be sitting around getting big okay my back unbig my back lord before june gets here because we were doing so good but anyway so i do want to run out really fast and grab that before i am depleted of all the energy i have for today that sun was beaming y'all and it whew, sent me but anywho just wanted to catch you guys up with what i was about to do next let me go get back in the car and i'll meet you guys either there or at the grocery store thank you 
You have a good one, or I'll see you on my way out. All right, you guys, made it into Lidl, and as y'all saw, I had the security guard pick this water up and put it into the cart. He was so sweet, and hopefully, he's that gracious when I'm headed out. But yeah, let me go ahead and start picking everything up. I feel like I'm about to grab way more than what I said I was coming in here for, but nonetheless, we move. What's up, nigga? We gon' be alright. Yeah. Look at me soaring now. Give it my soul, I pour it out. Been honest before, what you seeing now? Back when I couldn't afford a house. Y'all, I have never seen a shallot in the store until I started seeing all of these recipes, but I want a bag. But I don't really need that much. The salmon options are just not giving i've been drinking these ginger shots i actually got the last few from target but these are much cheaper in here if you know you know so i'm gonna grab one for every day this week i used to sleep in the prius no heater on site at my campus dropped out for a job i just couldn't manage was racking a debt made it hard to see family i ran out of panic i started to grind at the studio don't tell my girl i was homeless y'all how cute is this for ashley I have to get it for her. This is so cute. And it's also reversible. Look at that side. It's cute. <clears throat> and here I was thinking, <laughs> I was gonna come in here for a few things. Girl, we have not grocery shopped in Hmm, a little minute. That pickup order that we did from Walmart was just like some here and there type items. And of course, all of the produce goes bad so fast. So nothing we had in the fridge was even worth salvaging for the past few days. So yeah, that was a lot. I don't... <laughs> I don't even really know why I even said I was going to be in there for three or four items. I know better. Any home though, um, done with that. Glad to have gotten the groceries in so that we don't have to eat out as much. You guys know, when you grocery shop, you get takeout, right? So it's 6.30. I'm not prepping anything. I'm ready to take this makeup off, snatch this wig off, take me a shower, and chill. I might actually soak tonight and try out that Epsom salt that I got from Ulta the other day but um real quick I hope friend who put the water in my trunk don't think I want anything from him because he was back here telling me about his goals and aspirations asking me how I got into vlogging telling me that he's um <clears throat> wanting to go pro with fighting he's a boxer and you know i was just telling him like absolutely put up your personal training stuff and you know like show people tips and tricks as to how to get into the industry because creed is very popular right now and a lot of people may be inspired by that but then he started lingering a little bit and i was like i got the rest i don't need help with the rest i just needed the water friend and Mr. Mans told me that he sees me in here often, one. And then two, he was going to try to get me tickets to his cage fight. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just... I'd be friendly, but... Not that damn friendly. Not, I don't. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to see y'all when I make it back to the house because. <sighs> I 
Hey you guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. So we are off to an early start. Today is appointment day, Sim is already in the car. I wanted to make me some tea, take my ginger shot, and then also fill up my water bottle before I hop in. I also need to grab a jacket because it is drizzling. The weather in Atlanta has been so gloomy. Some days the sunshine, the other days it's raining, the next day it's freezing cold. Like, girl, can we just get to summer already? Any home, Outside of that, after we leave my appointment, I did a pickup order for a Target that's nearby. And we're also going to go and look at some cars today because I have to give the rental back next Monday. And you guys know Sims off days are Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So I want to try to make a final and sound decision by this week so we can be prepared to pick up on next week so hopefully the weather isn't too terrible and we're able to look at some stuff maybe test drive another car or two and yeah make our way back home but of course i will film all of that for you guys let me grab my coat and i'll meet you guys in the car i probably should have put on a jacket with the hood huh Oh, it's my case yeah, that would have been a little bit smarter, but I was going for fashion over everything else. Okay, you guys, so I've already had a CAT scan and blood work done. Not sure if I'm going to get an MRI today or Wednesday. It just depends on the doctor and whatnot and what all they call for. So we'll see. Hopefully um, it's quick, easy, and painless clear results negative and we get out of there at a pretty decent time but prayers up for the best gonna put it in God's hand and let it be what it is I was telling them babe that we were gonna go and look at cars do you think you know what I want mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna just tell you to go look at um to see if, it, if the back is big like you think it is man. the back of that Lexus is so big I just want you to actually be able to put eyes on it so you can actually make sure that that's the one you've been seeing. Yeah, because... <laughs> I know ultimately that's, that's really the only thing that's, that you have against it. So, I mean, if that's the case, I already know what you're going to do. I feel like with one car, you're going to get everything without even having to pay for it. I literally was about to say, when it comes down to everything with you, it's going to come down to numbers. And ultimately, that Honda, you get everything you're about to pay for in that Lexus. Or pay to get with that Lexus. Yeah, like the panoramic sunroof, all of the technology and whatnot. I feel like everywhere else you're going to have to pay for the upgrades, pay for the premium, but that's coming at you in the limited edition anyway, so yeah. But yeah, you guys, um, we will see y'all once we make it to the doctor. It's not very sure that we're even going to film in there. Okay, okay. So, if we don't, you guys will see us afterwards or right before we go in and then after. Did we get a ticket? Trying to get in better light. Is this the walkway over here? Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm not sure what the lighting's doing right now, but we just made it. We're walking through the parking deck, about to go into the building. Let's go. And once we get in there and get settled before I get called back. I'll pick you guys back up, but let me focus. All right, you guys made it back to the examination room. I am going to be called for x-rays in a second here. Sim was sitting right here. He went to the bathroom. He'll be back in a second, but um, once I get the x-rays done, maybe before or after I see the doctor, I'll pop back on for an update. My blood pressure still through the roof, okay? That's another conversation for another day. I do have an appointment with my primary care physician next week, so nothing to worry about, but something to consider because, girl, how, what, huh? But anyway, yeah, just wanted to update you guys. Back from x-rays. Um, it's always funny, the question of a chance of pregnancy. I'd be like, oh. Oh, they asked again? Mm-hmm. They got to because they would put something to sheet or protect down there but yeah so just waiting on those to come back and then also waiting on the doctor kind of don't feel the best right here trying to put the seat belt on i don't know whatever this shit is on 
kind of hurts. All right, you guys, so out of my appointment, I got some new arm candy. I have a few more appointments to go to before I actually come back here to get this um, looked at again. Just a fracture and some soreness with heavy lifting and too much motion. So I'm glad that I was able to get into him and he was able to help me out. So now we are about to go to Target and then I want to go to the Fresh Market before we go look at these cars. It's 11 o'clock, which is still early um, because I need to pick up the order that I placed last night and then I also want to get some organic beet juice. I don't have a juicer. My parents told me that juicing it would be a lot better to help out with my blood pressure, but I'm just trying to do what I can with what I got right now. And if I need to invest in a juicer, that will be something that comes along the way. What if my arm starts stinking? You gonna still love me? Can I wrap this one around you at night? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you already put it in that you were here? I just put it in. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me close and reopen my app because it's still saying you're just zero minutes away. Okay. Oh, well, it says something went wrong. Hold on. There okay. we go. Thank you. You're welcome. And where would you like these? Um, back seat to the left over here. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you, you so sorry. much. Babe, can you reach right there and pass me that ashwagandha? Man, I don't want to feel your like that. Hand don't, your hand ain't broke. Just, just go ahead and let it be though now. Don't get carried away. <laughs> Your dominant hand still works. I couldn't do all of that. But I want to take the ashwagandha so I can feel like I popped the perk 30. You real nasty now. No, I'm just hey man. Just have to let that be known. I your don't spirit, mind. I don't spirit, mind helping you. Your spirit you know, ain't remember, together. Remember, your right hand still works. Take the plastic wrapping off. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ooh. 30, I just popped a perk 30. About to pop one of these. Wait, it's some Ollie's back there too that I'm trying to take. Ooh. You sure you want me to take all this shit with all you? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perky make a dance. Mm. It's kind of good here, this ashwagandha. Take my nerves down a bit. That's why can't nobody take me serious because I play too damn much. You can eat these. Hmm? You can eat these. They got what? No, I'm saying you can eat these. Let me see. Damn. I can't. Um. Damn, I gotta take those back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna be over here so zooted. Hey, daddy's home. Oh, what should I say? I'm in the mood to fuck something up. <laughs> the lady from the train. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god. I'm so weak at myself. It's kind of ridiculous. What's the next step? To go see this car that you ain't gonna get. Be optimistic. I might change my mind if it's not I beetled it. up in the back. Um. <clears throat> so other also, y'all, growing up all my life, I've always wanted a, look at the Tucson right there. Look how it's just sitting there looking good. That bitch in black really looks great. Mm -hmm. Like it's clean. Anyway, you guys, in life, I have always wanted a Wrangler or a Range Rover because I just like that sporty type of off-road, even though I'm not going nowhere off-road look. But nowadays, the Range Rovers, I don't know. They're just not cute. They're not giving. They're not sporty. They're not ripped like they used to be. They're giving bubble. 
they're definitely giving bubble we went to carmax that day that we did our first round of car shopping i didn't film it because the camera went dead but also i'm going brand new i don't want to go pre-owned or anything no shade no reason really behind it except for i just want to be the first one to drive it off the lot and put the miles on it whatever the case may be so yeah we went to look at a few of the wranglers that they had there and half of them were not for sale they only had that lime green one right mm -hmm. or was it like just the two white ones those were the only two they had that was there at the moment i mean for sale but the other ones remember they didn't have a sticker on them mm -hmm. on the pre-owned side yeah so um I don't know I don't know I'm just in the air about everything because logistically I like to really think things through before I make decisions and baby girl is going from no car no for almost two years to now we got to tussle a little bit so yeah Jeffrey darling can you get the camera down Go ahead, tell the folks how nasty you be in a day. I ain't said nothing. Bye, y'all. See y'all at Lexus. Oh, look at that. Hey, Stink. Cute self. I was just talking about you. Just pulled up to Lexus. So, on a bigger scale, or is this a smaller scale? Whatever. Truthfully, I really want a customized interior if I'm gonna be going for what I want. And that's the only thing that I don't like about, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the only thing that I don't like about the Tucson is that Hyundai is very basic when it comes to interior, it's this or that, which is fine because the car technology itself trumps anything, but I do like the look of how Camrys and Lexus and Range Rover and all of that you can actually customize your inside to peanut butter black what tan red blue whatever the case may be so <clears throat> we're about to get out and go see about it and you guys will see should I bring my purse oh, God. I already got a truck along this hard ass arm Are you gonna sign my cast with a gray marker? Mm. It's a brace, not a cast. Are you gonna sign it? Mm -hmm. Why don't you put your name right there? I got you. Did you ever have a cast growing up? Nope. You <sighs> broke shit. Is that my ass now? Black folk. You laughing at the back of this? Mm -hmm. It's big. Okay, I'm looking for the 250 though. It's cute, but. Mm, Y'all, this inside, beautiful. I'm not sure if y'all could see it or me in the reflection, but she's cute. This is after the kids going on to college. So we were just trying to get a look at it, but we didn't see any in the front. Because mm -hmm. right now we're experiencing very low supply, but with a bunch of demand. All right, you guys, we are about to test drive one this is a pre-owned is it a 250 uh-oh it's a pre-owned nx350 so it's a little bit bigger of the trim of what i was looking for but ooh! cute interior you guys no sunroof though this is a 2022 Push to start. How's it look back there, Hatchy? Pretty decent. Of course, they don't put prices on their cars, y'all, because they want you to come inside. It stank a little bit, don't it? What that's giving? But does see a little bit? Hmm. It's not giving. I don't really so much like that. I mean, this is comfortable. This is comfortable. I like Good. this. Okay. 
if this is comfortable, you're gonna feel more comfortable on a premium version. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Wow, you got a fly by the center. What the hell is this? My, um... <laughs> I'm glad to see you My shower cap for my <laughs> brace. Damn, what? What? He dropping some logs. What? Is he? That motherfucker's is huge. <laughs> oh my god, he got human shit. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> we need a small dog. That's, that's C, C. Anyway, you guys. <laughs> TMI, sorry. But we just made it back home. We really didn't hit any traffic, standstill traffic that was. It was a little moderate, but I wanted to update you guys as to the process at Lexus. I was able to film a lot of what he was saying. Hopefully you guys were able to hear that, but just in a nutshell. Everything checked out in terms of the premium and what you're getting in the vehicle. Of course, Lexus, the name speaks for itself. My biggest takeaway is that I would pretty much be paying 10 more grand for the name and everything in terms of like the customized interior and stuff like that compared to the Hyundai, which is fully souped up and I just don't get the insides that I want. So Sim and I were just talking about Honestly, the base model that we drove at Lexus compared to what we can reserve coming in because the guy was saying that inventory is no longer just sitting on the lot. Like you actually have to wait for cars to come in these days. Of course, after COVID, everything has changed. So it's not like you can just pull up to a lot of the dealerships and they just have like an influx of inventory. Most things are on the way in and how Lexus does it is you can pretty much put down a deposit in order to reserve the exact car that you want. And if anything happens between the time you reserve it and the time you go to pick it up and of course take it home, you don't like it, they can give that deposit back and you pretty much leave with no issue. So, yeah, all in all, I enjoyed test driving it, being able to see what it was like. I like that you can customize the inside. I like the premium things, but it still comes down to paying 10 grand more for the same things that I'm getting without the luxury name. So hopefully <laughs> I can make a sound decision. He did give us some paperwork. And on this paperwork, it pretty much gives us a breakdown as to everything that comes with the premium package and the like protection, all of the warranties and whatnot. And you know, just to weigh things out is something else. You go lay here, man. Hey, man. Sit down. Don't come jumping on me. Deuce. Here. Sit. Mm -hmm. in trouble. But yeah, you guys, I am about to make me a sandwich. Sandwich once. Oh, should I make them a sandwich out? But um, I have some tuna that I made yesterday and we got some kale so I'm about to whip up some sandwiches and we'll probably do tacos for dinner. I wasn't able to get to the fresh market to get that beet juice so I may go pick some up tomorrow and I'm going to make some more hibiscus leaf tea for the rest of the week. Outside of that, not sure that we have anything else going on today if at all. I will, of course will pick you guys up. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's make these sandwiches though, cause I am starved and Sim is hungry too. We were gonna go out to eat, but battling with traffic to get back over here um, versus just coming all home cause we got food at the house all 2023 for the rest of 2023. Yeah, most definitely. Y'all this tuna so good. Mm -hmm. Y'all, Lanisa called me one day and she was snacking on these. Girl, I had to pick some up. Yes, Lord. They got 
blueberry and almond pieces in there with a little shortbread flavor. I'm gonna try to get a handful of the good stuff. Mmm. Oh good. Wanna take some? Mm-hmm. Got some more in my smoothie. What kind of this? Ain't that good? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Use a regular granola for your smoothie. Don't use this. Good. This is a snack right here. You put this on some yogurt for a parfait. From Target. Good and Gather brand. Do you want mayonnaise added to yours? Added, no. Okay, just hear me out. It'd be a little dry. If you don't do the fixes. Like, I mean, with me, I don't really need them because I can't right now, but mm -hmm. just for you. Yeah, I love me some tuna. Uh-oh. Oh, I was about to say. So I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on yours because I just don't want your shit to be dry because mine last night it wasn't terrible, but this bread, just the grains in here, mm -hmm. they get grainy. I used to make a mean ass tuna melt. Big stock just of kale. Do you want some of these on yours? Um, yeah, I'll take those. Cause I really want to put some pickles on there, but we don't have. This tuna good now. Huh? that TV on nursing home. I literally want to peel this off of me so bad. I was about to say, oh shit, let me go ahead and take my bra off and this on, but I can't take this off. Would you like some chips on the side? That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me cut Big Mama sandwich up. Oh my goodness. These look great. What did I do? That. This one's yours. So I've had these vitamins before and I recently have been looking for a new multivitamin outside of what I do for care of. Sometimes that just be a lot on my palate every single morning, not gonna lie to y'all. So I just wanted something basic. So I already took my ashwagandha in the car. I'm gonna take one of these. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But yeah, these are a very good multivitamin. They are Certified organic, non gamo vegan certified, certified gluten-free, and the contents are tested and certified by NSF. If that means anything to you at all, girl, get these vitamins. I will say they're earthy. They have one for prenatal. They have one for women 55 plus, and then they have this women's multivitamin everyday type of situation. So, you know, they got variety for folks. What you be doing while we not here, Deuce? You be in our bed? For real, you can tell mom. Huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell me, sir. Go mm -hmm. on, tell me, you be in our bed. You too big for that step like you, you are. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That feel good, huh? Oh yeah. Thank you for holding down the fort while we were out all day. Phew. Hey, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Listen, today has been a day, all right? And I am just now getting out of an appointment that I had scheduled for this afternoon. Your girl is kind of drained, but I'm trying to move, right? I know since I've been back on camera, getting into the swing of things and just bring you guys along for everything, I've been pretty positive showing the better side and almost back to normal side of things but when I say this shit is just not fun it's it's really a lot mentally physically of course and while I don't want to complain because I am just so grateful to God for life as I know it and the quality of it not changing just a few things being different but for the most part y'all it has just been a lot it has been a lot and between it all I am just very apprehensive about really expressing how I feel and just 
all these emotions because here it is I'm able to get up and get myself to the doctor talk to the representatives and insurance company and all of that as I need to get things done day by day whereas sometimes it's not that easy for others who may have experienced it worse than I did so I want to practice a lot of discernment as to how I present things and also by not trying to drown this vlog in my sorrows you know what I'm saying so it has just been a very 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 trying morning but off of all of that your girl is about to um make her way to return those vitamins to Target because I can't take them to have gelatin in them maybe find a replacement and then I also want to go to Publix and look for some beet juice I saw a brand that they do carry hopefully they have it in the Publix that's by me and once I get done with that I'm gonna take it on back to the house I don't have anything else to be outside doing today just wanted to open up and tell you guys what was going to be going on here on this beautiful Wednesday and once I make it to Target I'll pick you guys back up. You doing a return? Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay. I have a Target red card, so I did an online pickup order. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1621 back to your car, 4151. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> These things so tricky. Can I give I this know. to you? Uh-huh. Thank you. Have You're a good welcome. one. Here you go. Thank you. All right, you guys. Just made it out of... Target and I need to put a hand sanitizer in here because my little purse sanitizers are not going to cut it but we have to give this back on Saturday anyway I thought I was gonna have oh that doesn't feel great thought I was gonna have um, some more time with it I think I told y'all that yesterday but if not yeah I thought I was gonna have until Monday but it's actually due back on Saturday anyway um, I didn't find a replacement vitamin for those Ali gummies that I had returned and I ended up just getting me a matcha there was no beet juice in this target so I'm gonna head down to Publix and Hopefully I can grab some there. It's super crowded out here today, so I'm not even in the mood to really be out longer than what I have to be. I guess it's spring break, if that makes sense, for the crowds and just how busy this parking lot and the inside of Target was just now like, good Lord. So yeah, let me um, get to Publix because I need to get that juice and then I also forgot that I need to pick up my prescription from the pharmacy and then once I'm done with that I'll be back home y'all this is the brand of juice that I was looking for and there's only one in here is that God but I'm gonna grab this and look around and see if I see anything else that may be good well they have some more beet juice down there but it's not the same brand girl the ghetto Okay, outside of Publix, mm -hmm. I didn't get any other oh, uh -oh, juice outside of that beet juice, so I'm about to make my way on to the pharmacy so I can pick up this prescription. Let me just say this. I just have so much on my mind, like so much unexpected things. When I say some days are great and other days feel like we are going in complete and utter reverse, it's almost ridiculous. It is, it is. And now to add this little guy <laughs> into the mix, I just feel like incapable of getting the small things that are so normal done, done. And it's like, I gotta laugh because I be uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I just. <sighs> but, like I said, there's always a situation that's worse than yours, or situations, of course, that are better. But, girl, some days I just be like, God, God, talk to me. Talk to me. But anyway, let me get myself on to pick up this prescription. 
thank God for the day whoever decided to design a drive through for the pharmacy executed that, okay? Because this right here, lifesaver. Shout out to my insurance, okay? Like, get y'all some good health care. Or man, <laughs> rather, with good health care. Because, baby, look. Yes, ma'am, I am. Springer. Thank you. You have a good one. Look at how he act. Look at how he act. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, let's try out this beet juice. So, just two ingredients, organic beetroot juice and lemon juice. The nutrition facts are pretty good, too. It does have 190 milligrams of sodium, but yeah. Why are you skating through this house? Hmm, smells so yummy. You know what? Let me put this on ice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna take it to the head. Okay, we've drank worse shit, right? Like, <clears throat> That tastes like baby food. Yep. Like baby peas. That's exactly what it tastes like. Jesus Christ. <sighs> hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. I know. Before y'all start, I'm out here looking like Joe. Listen, <laughs> the weather in Atlanta is so bad right now. It is storming. It's cold. Not really sure how we got here, but... Your girl is in dire need of going to get waxed and getting these eyebrows threaded. I haven't got a Brazilian since the end of January. I haven't got my armpits or my eyebrows done since right before we left for the getaway house. Okay, if I was brave enough, I would show y'all a before and after, at least in my armpits. But, girl, just the embarrassment, okay? <laughs> I cannot do it. Um, yeah, so the last few days have been pretty uneventful, um, emotional, but that's something that I will catch you guys up on probably once I'm about to close out on this video. But yeah, I'll see you guys once I get there. Oh, and today is the last day of having the rental. So, Sim, once he gets off, we're actually going to drop it off. It was so nice while it lasted, but the insurance only gave us 10 days. And I'm not talking business days. I mean 10 days, including the weekend. But yeah, y'all, let me go and I will see y'all once I make it to the wax studio. So you guys, I pulled up at Dunkin'. I got me a blueberry matcha ice with oat milk and I also got a plain donut with strawberry cream cheese. I wanted to grab something to put on my stomach because I tried to drink some tea this morning with my vitamins, ginger shot and all of that. But we ordered the wrong one from Walmart. I thought it was the ginger zen, but it came out to be the green zen, which not even the same. Okay, you don't compete where you don't compare. So, I've been trying to force myself to drink it because I've already had too many packets to take it back. But it's just not hitting. And I also did not make anything to eat. Even though I had the avocado, I could have really made me some toast. I just tried to get out the house so I can make it before this wax studio gets super busy. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. Thank you. You, you guys I know this lighting looks crazy but I am all done with my wax ladies you know you truthfully don't feel like yourself until your eyebrows are like fresh if you get lashes you got your lashes done your nails and toes are manicured even if they're not like exotic tips or anything over the top 
extravagant, you still feel good when you just get all of your maintenance done. So I am feeling a lot better already just being able to look at myself with some tamed eyebrows. Any home, I went to Publix after I got out of the wax salon because I figured while I was right here parked in the deck, I could go up there and get me some beet juice. So I got four of them and I'm gonna stay up on that. My blood pressure has been a little bit better. It's reading kind of lower, but I want that to stay consistent. I'm trying to get it as good holistically as I can before I go into my appointment next Friday well this upcoming Friday because it's already Saturday so yeah y'all <laughs> um, girl please I'll be having to take the pants off after you get that good wax baby ain't even gonna lie to y'all that ain't changed uh oh thank you for the light but yeah so I did want to run over um to target and then the farmer's market but i think i'm just gonna hit the farmer's market and hopefully everything that i need will be in there i grabbed some honey from Publix. they had some bee honey and also some mild jerk seasoning i need to text ashley's mom because she extended the invite for us to come over for dinner tomorrow but I just, y'all, after the day I had on Wednesday and then into Thursday and beyond, I just forgot. It got away from me and I need to text her to see if that invite still stands. And if not, because, you know, people have to prepare for you to be over at their house and whatnot. So if it doesn't, which I'm not sure, I was going to make some oxtail and macaroni and some type of green on the side i'm not gonna do too much because it's just semini but yeah i thought about doing that i just got out of the farmer's market i was able to get everything that i needed and i remembered while i was in there why i was gonna go to target in the first place and it was to get sim some boxers okay because boyfriends husbands brothers even why don't y'all like to get y'all own underwear undergarments and stuff like that like i am always reing up for sim but yeah your girl is about to go home if i feel compelled to stop by walmart i will but if not that's something that we can do while we're out on Monday and Tuesday because we have a few errands to run. I have a doctor's appointment and we just got some stuff that we'll be doing outside the house. So yeah, that'll probably be something that we do then if I don't do it today because right now, I think God calling me to the house. So I'm gonna go on to the cribbo. Oh, I look crazy as hell. I have on Sims rain jacket now because we are about to go drop the rental off. What's going on, y'all? Don't you look work savvy? <laughs> this. Please. Hey, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Listen, for real this time. What a vlog. What a vlog. I know I say that at the end of every video almost, but well phew when i say i had no intentions on being gone from youtube or any of my other platforms for as long as i have been sis for real for real like a few of you guys are over on instagram in my dm saying like sis is it a baby it's giving you pregnant it's giving baby springer is on the way and you try to hide from us but please give us something and i wish <laughs> honestly and truthfully i would rather be going through that than what it is i'm going through right now but 
either way it goes around just grateful to god to be able to get back into working and now we're at the point where i'm about to close out today's vlog and you guys will finally have some good content this is a two hour long video and if you made it to this point you know you the real OG and that's why I fucks with y'all the way that I do and I will always bring you guys good, solid, quality content because y'all be here riding with the kid for the long haul. So with that being said, um, I want to kind of open up about a few things that I noticed were very vague as I was editing today's video at the beginning of when my accident happened on down until the time that I picked up the camera to film, I just was in a very weird space. Like initially, of course, I wasn't thinking to pick up the camera and create content because going through what I was going through and then mentally, legally, physically, so much was happening. And I was also discouraged by a family member on whether or not I should even do my job because while their intentions were pure, it still boiled down to, I can't get on here and act like nothing is going on and just continue with normal everyday life. Like you guys weren't going to notice things like me not having a car, us going car shopping. What do I have all these appointments for out of the blue all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of deterred me from even wanting to film because if I couldn't tell y'all anything, I wasn't going to tell y'all nothing at all. I just wasn't going to do this. But then I decided, you know what? It is what it is. And with the nature of what I do for a living, how I present myself on camera, even though I am very private in most things, I do like to share real life with you guys. And I'm okay with being transparent because you never know when this may help somebody else going through the situation or just shed light to things that go on every single day in the world because I'm just an influencer, I'm just a content creator and I still live a normal life. I'm not shielded from the unfortunate things that can happen to people in their everyday lives. So with all of that being said, Jesus girl, that was quite the opening. Um, my accident is a little bit different. It is considered right now a hit and run because this 18 wheeler did merge into me, carried my car and left the scene. Like they never stopped. I want to be empathetic and say like, oh, well maybe their load was so heavy they didn't feel me or maybe this and maybe that. But at the end of the day, like dragging a car, you felt that. There's no way you didn't feel it. So karma will deal with that person whenever the time presents itself. But as for me, I did um, move forward with seeking legal representation. And while we do have a law firm on this case and taking care of the things that I cannot physically take care of, Sim cannot physically take care of, it's a lot on me mentally because I went unconscious and had it not been for that off-duty EMT, it would have just, you know, been a whirlwind of shit. But then as I'm sitting here at home and trying to figure out like, why? <laughs> you know, like this was a normal day on my way home, the same way I travel every single time i head up 285 why like out of all things that could have happened why this and i remember talking to jared he was just like you know you can't sit around and ask why me or you know mope in the fact that you're going through something you just gotta look at it as what it is and find your way to heal and move and grow past it so while i'm getting on here and trying to move past i be having bad days <laughs> and i'm trying to still bring myself forward and present my best self all while dealing with insurance companies and trying to purchase a new car getting pre-approved all of these things in life that are coming at me fast while i'm trying to still process and heal um so you guys did see 
on the day I went to return that stuff to Target. I had an appointment that morning. It was so, so, so bad. The office staff were so rude. The doctor and everyone else in there was so unprofessional and my exam almost felt like a joke. And then they requested that I come in and do these extensive tests and blood work and all of this stuff that made me feel like, what is happening? Like, is it worse than what I expect it. So of course, then it's just like, don't stress, your blood pressure's high. But how can I not stress and somebody is telling me something that is so severe compared to how I am feeling? And it's just, whoo, a lot. It was a lot. So I was able to get a second opinion, which you guys will see in the next weekly vlog because I've already started that one as of yesterday. And um, yeah, there will be brighter days okay light at the end of the tunnel but um like i have already mentioned somebody's situation is going to be worse somebody's situation is going to be better your primary focus is not to pay attention to any of that you have to focus on your situation and what it is and you know really hone in as to what lesson or what you're getting out of it and that just is it. And my sister told me yesterday, she was just like, you know, I feel like while this was traumatic, maybe this was a sign for you to start taking better care of yourself and doing for you what you need to do. And I was just like, hmm, maybe because now I'm actually more in tune with my health, taking my supplements and getting out here and going to these doctors, learning more about just what be going on with myself and my body and it's like before that child we just had health care sitting there looking good him working hard to pay for this good insurance and we ain't been to no doctors we ain't did this that the third or anything because we've been relatively healthy but in retrospect look at how that all aged and came full circle you feel me so i don't know it's still a lot to just understand process but life is still moving i told you guys when i got engaged we were buying the house planning a wedding and i was becoming a full-time entrepreneur life just be real fast for me and i don't ever take time to sit back and soak it all in so these past few weeks this past month has been a moment of soaking it all in but i'm just so 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 grateful for all of you guys for checking on me even though y'all don't know or didn't know what was going on you were still there sending your prayers and well wishes so appreciative of my husband my family my friends and just distant associates that have done things like sent candles and cards and you know that's just so sweet and you just don't know who's there for you until you get into situations like this and you have nobody because I'm so accustomed to being okay. I have a bad habit of acting like everything is all right. I'll be going through whatever it is and I'll mentally block it all out so I can push forward and it's like, no, you cannot do that, okay? Like, you have to sit back, take it all in and process. So, outside of that, hopefully we are able to track somebody down and close out this case successfully it's just a matter of time before we'll know my biggest thing is i have my life i have the great quality of it not much has changed except for some minor things and i'm grateful that i'm still able to press on so whether or not we get the result that everyone would be wishing for or not it is what it is okay gotta buy a car gotta keep moving gotta come to work it is what it is okay life is just gonna keep moving so outside of that speaking of buying a car 
you guys have seen some exciting footage from just being able to test drive and try out different cars makes models all of that good stuff i have really enjoyed the process i did make a decision on yesterday which of course you guys will see later on but yeah it was fun i enjoyed it i really wanted to just test out all the water because this was such an unexpected event that you know what i'm saying i had to really think things out and we had to move at a consistent pace because we were kind of limited on time and i had to make some sort of decision because sim does have to go to work he cannot stay home with me driving me around and who wants to pay for a rental every day right so um yeah more goodness to come you guys will see that in next week's vlog what else i think i think that's i think that's pretty much it i think that's everything that i did want to um catch you guys up on oh the hard brace that we just so happened to fall into right you go to a doctor's appointment and you're expecting like okay yeah i'm experiencing this um i had a lot of swelling and soreness post accident but now it's like that has gone away and more things are kind of like creeping up so as you guys saw i seemed fine i was moving around and very mobile but then i started getting to like feeling tension and just discomfort and whatnot and i was like well i'm glad i have this appointment set because i'm going to be able to go check it out never would have known we was going to be fractured up and walking out with one of these and getting an MRI this week for it and this, that, and the third occupational therapy. It just feels like a big setback when I finally started getting back in the groove of feeling better. So that's why um, <laughs> I'm going to laugh things out. I'm going to play all day. I'm going to make light of situations. But when it all comes down to it, it's just like, what in the absolute you know what right so yeah you guys i am not going to drag this video out any longer than what it is i hope i was able to get just about everything off my chest and it flows well you guys are really um understanding of everything that i'm saying right now don't want to really put too much emphasis or information out there i think i'm doing a good enough job with what i gave y'all and um thank you guys so much for supporting me thank you guys so much for looking out and just like i said sending your prayers love well wishes your thoughts every single thing very much so appreciate it i hope you guys enjoy today's video and um i'm excited to bring you guys more and more content in the weeks and months of 2023 that's left my manager actually lives here in atlanta now so there's going to be a lot of room and opportunity for us to get together brainstorm knock out some deals she is also a videographer so um you know what i'm saying hopefully i can get my girl over here filming for us we can pick back up with cooking with the springers and i can get more content to you guys on all of my other platforms and yeah we're just gonna hop back into it just like normal with a very small reminder in the back of our heads as to how blessed we are to still be here right very good okay so i love you guys so 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 much you guys already know the drill if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up spam the comment section down below i've been gone for almost a month or has it been a month I've been gone for too damn long for y'all not all to get on y'all's phones, computers, iPads, and leave me a comment. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining the gang, joining the family. This is the realest, okay, on YouTube. But yeah, I'm just fucking around. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Da 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 da